Today, I'll solve one fluid mechanics numerical problem on viscosity. Here is the numerical problem. A plate having an area of 0.6 meter square is sliding down an inclined plane at 30 degree to the horizontal with a velocity of 0.36 meter per second. There is a question of fluid 1.8 mm thick between the plate and the plate. Find the viscosity of the fluid if the weight of the plate is 280 Newton. And second, find the kinematic viscosity of the fluid if the specific gravity of the oil is 0 0.95. So now here you can see this is the plate that is sliding down an inclined plane which is make angle 30 degree. And plate weight is 280 Newton and that fluid is packed in, in between that plate and that inclined plane. So that fluid uh, uh, thickness is 1.8 mm. So now we have to calculate the viscosity and kinematic viscosity. So here is the given data. So area of the plate that is given A is 0 0.6 meter square. Velocity of the plate U is given means that plate is moving downward direction. So that is 0 0.36 meter per second. Angle of inclination that is theta is 30 degree. Thickness of the fluid film that is dy 1.8 mm. So if we convert mm to meter, so that is 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter. Weight of the plate W is 280 Newton. Specific gravity of the oil SG. So that is 0 0.95. These are the data is given from means we can take from this problem. Now first we have to decompose the the weight so now this is make angle theta now weight is acting vertically downward direction now if we decompose uh, this force so w cos theta and w sin theta means that w sin theta force is acting uh, the downward direction so now so the component of the weight w along with the plane is given by w sin theta so that is 280 into sin theta so, W sin theta is nothing but 140 Newton. So, that is actually shear force. That shear force on the bottom surface of the plate uh, is that F is equal to W sin theta. So, that is 140 Newton. Now, the calculation of shear stress. So, now we know the shear stress is nothing but shear force divided by the area. So, force is 140 Newton and area we know 0 0.6 meter square. So, shear stress is nothing but 233.33 uh, Newton per meter square. So, after getting shear stress, now we have to calculate that velocity gradient. So, according Newton law of viscosity, the shear stress tau is, we know that tau is nothing but uh, mu uh, times velocity gradient du by dy. Now, we have to calculate velocity gradient. So, uh, that if you consider uh, that plate uh, velocity we already we know that that bottom uh, plate means uh, that plane is fixed plane is, plane is not moving so from here uh, we can easily calculate the velocity gradient so du by dy so that velocity uh, difference is nothing but 0 0.36 meter per second and dy is the flame thickness of the fluid that is 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter so that will uh, if we do the calculation we will get du by dy is nothing but 200 second inverse so dy that unit of that velocity gradient is second inverse now we have to calculate that viscosity viscosity is tau by du by dy tau we know 233.33 newton per meter square and du by dy already we calculated that is 200 second inverse so viscosity will be 1.66665 newton second meter square or a Newton second meter square is nothing but Pascal second. So 1.1665 Pascal second. Now we have to find out the kinematic viscosity. So now kinematic viscosity is given by that mu by rho. So where rho is the density of the fluid and the density can be calculated using the specific gravity. So rho is equal to the specific gravity into rho of water. So 0 0.95 is the specific gravity and multiplied with 1000 kg per meter cube. So that will be 950 kg per meter cube. So we know the density of the fluid now we can substitute the value so new will be so mu we know 1.1665 newton uh, second per meter square and we, we already calculated the density that is 950 kg per meter cube so new will be 1.228 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter square per second 
So, we got the viscosity as well as kinematic viscosity. That's it. Thank you.